Grade 12 Unit 9 Focus on Page 74 Games of the Past Nowadays many of us spend free time playing computer games, talking on the internet or watching television. But have you ever wondered how young people passed the time in the past? Before the invention of Nintendo, computers, television, radio, and other modern-day entertainment devices we take for granted today, children had to make their own fun, often literally. The games of the past tended to involve group socializing and playing a well-known game with well-known rules. They also often utilized items from their everyday life, such as rocks, shells, sand, and almost any other everyday item you can think of. Here are just a few games they enjoyed. al -Kabsa. al -Kabsa is a simple game, normally played by groups of girls. Each girl brings a few simple items such as shells, stones, beads, and any other items the players can get their hands on. First, the girls form a pile, or cone, of sand, and then wet it to make it more solid. The first girl places one of her items within the pile, and then splits the structure into smaller piles, thereby hiding her item within one of the smaller ones. At the given signal the other girls search through these piles for the item that has been hidden. Whichever girl finds the item wins not only the game but also the item itself. It is then her turn to place an item in the large sand pile and repeat the game. Dawama Dawama is a game played by two players. Each player has a spinning top, or dawama, shaped like a cone and made from wood and string. The center, or core, of the spinning top is taken out and replaced with a small piece of metal, made by a blacksmith, to make it stronger. The players wind a piece of string round it and pull it off quickly, making the cone spin rapidly on its point. The two players try to damage each other's tops. The winner is the player whose Dawama suffers the least damage. Amber Amber is a team sport which uses rocks and balls. The first team throws a ball at a pile of seven rocks in an attempt to scatter them. When they have done this, the second team take the ball. The first team then have to attempt to pile the rocks on top of each other, whilst the second team attempt to hit them with the ball. If a player is hit, or tagged with the ball, then he is out of the game. The first team win if they manage to pile all the rocks up without losing all their players. The second team win if they manage to get all the first team players out the game. So there you have three classic Kuwaiti games. Maybe next time you're thinking about playing the latest video game or watching TV, you'll think of these traditional games instead and go and see your friends. Who knows, maybe you'll even invent some exciting games of your own. <laughs>